All right, folks, what we're gonna do today is fire up our gasifier powered chainsaw here. I'm gonna walk you around to show you how to fire this thing up. First of all, I took a doweling rod, cut it up into a bunch of little chunks here. That's the wood we're gonna use. I've got some newspaper and some sawdust from cutting up the doweling rods in the bottom of the thing here. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and just put all this down inside of there. Take me a moment here. Well, now that I got this thing full all the way to the top, you can see here, it's right up to the surface here. We're gonna stick the lid on there. I'm gonna pull the bellow real quick, set up the camera, and gonna stick some newspaper inside of there. We're gonna light this thing up and see if we can't run our chainsaw on it. So let me go ahead and set up the camera. Okay, so we got it full of wood. We got our chimney pipe open. I've stuck some newspaper shreds down in here. Let's go ahead and light these up. Usually it draws pretty good, so let's see how well this lights. Stick the camera down in there so you can kind of watch the draw effect. Might have stuffed a little bit too much down in there. We'll see how well this works. All right, looks like it's gonna light, folks. All right, so I've been pumping on this thing here for a moment. And we're actually starting to get a pretty good amount of smoke coming out of that chimney. Let's make sure it gets all the way up to wood gas temp here. All right, let's try to light that now. There we go, look at that folks, can you see the fire? Be back up the camera and make sure you can see that. So what I've done here is backed up the camera just a little bit so you can see this better when I ignite the wood gas coming out of this. And when I go to shut this, I'm gonna have to do it all pretty quick. So here, let's stop pumping. Let's hit it with the lighter. Look at that, folks. That's an incredible output gas. So we're definitely hitting wood gas. That's a great demonstration that you're achieving wood gas. Let's give it a few more pumps. So we're ready. Now that you see that, we're ready to shut this thing down. I'm gonna move the camera over so you can see what I'm doing to pull start it. Let's do one more flare off, make sure we're there. Oh yeah, we've got great wood gas production, folks. Hopefully you can see how tall that flame is in the, the video camera there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera, shut this down. We're ready to go. Okay, so now that we got the smoke going, let me go back over here, set down the camera, and see if we can't fire this thing up. We're over here, folks. We're gonna try to get this thing to start. I'm gonna try to get the gas all the way through the engine with the valve back here all the way closed. I might have shut it down there. Let's try it again. And it's difficult with these bigger ball valves to get that air fuel mixture right because it's just such a big area. And it's a small amount of adjustment. Give it one more little shot. 
Just like that. I've had this thing running now for a while. I can keep it idling like this. The second I give it any gas, it'll rev up for a while, but then it just chokes itself off and dies. So I was wrong. This carburetor isn't going to work for wood gas. The same obstacle I come to every time I try to run an engine on wood gas. The carburetors for liquid fuel are just not designed for it. And all you can achieve is a little bit of higher than idle. So I'm going to take that off and like you saw in the wood gas video of the generator, I'll put my own ball valve. We'll revisit this chainsaw another time. But at least now you can see that we got it running. If you go ahead and give it a little gas here, you'll see what it does and it'll choke itself off. So there you go, it chokes itself down folks. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This is Mr. Teslonian.